Hey, this is Marissa in the Mirror, Gospel Gal, and today I just have a short reading for you from Luther, and I hope this word will quench your thirsty soul today. If Christ appears in the guise of a wrathful judge or lawgiver, who demands accounting of how we've spent our lives, we should know for certain this is not really Christ, but the devil. For scripture portrays Christ as our propitiator, mediator, and comforter. This is what he always is and remains. He cannot be untrue to his very nature. Therefore, when the devil assumes the guise of Christ and argues with us this way, at the urging of my word, you are obliged to do this and you failed to do so. You are obliged to avoid that, and you failed to do so. Therefore, you should know that I shall exact punishment from you. This should not bother us at all, but we should immediately think, Christ does not speak this way to despairing consciences. He does not add affliction to those who are afflicted. A bruised reed will he not break, and a dimly burning wick he will not quench. To those who are rough he speaks roughly, but to those who are in terror he invites most sweetly, Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden. I came not to call the righteous, but sinners. Take heart, my son, your sins are forgiven. Be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. The Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. Therefore we should be on guard, lest the amazing skill and infinite wiles of Satan deceive us into mistaking the accuser and condemner for the comforter and savior, and thus losing the true Christ behind the mask of a false Christ that is the devil, and making him of no advantage to us. I hope this has been helpful for you this Thirsty Thursday and that you will go into your weekend rejoicing that we have a faithful Savior and faithful friend who is always willing and ready to receive us. Gospel blessings. See you next time.